Hello everyone, my name is Bmark and today I'll show you how you can play online multiplayer in Pokemon Legends ZA on PC using the Eden emulator. So you can do private battles or trading. And obviously you cannot connect to official Nintendo servers to receive mystery gifts or do rank battles. Alright, so let's get started in this video right now. Alright, so first you have to download the latest Eden nightly build. So this is the website, I'll put a link down in the description below. So this is the very latest nightly build and I'll just scroll down, scroll down and this is the build for Windows. So I'll just download this build. Alright, so I got this build downloaded so let me just extract it. Now inside of the folder I'll click on this eden.exe file. Now if you do not know how to play Pokemon Legends ZA using the Eden emulator, I have actually made a full guide on this. I'll put a link of the video in the i button right now and also put a link in the description down below so you can watch that. And if you're experiencing different type of graphical issues or seeing just solid colors when playing Pokemon Legends ZA on Eden Emulator, you can also check this video right now on the i button. All right, so let's just open it up. All right, next go to emulation, go to configure. So under system and network, Make sure this network interface is selected to whatever network you are using. I am using Ethernet so that is what is selected. If you are using Wi-Fi select that. If nothing Ethernet or Wi-Fi works and if you are getting some kind of network error, you can also use this loopback option. Now next in the bottom right corner you will see some message say not connected click here to find a room. Just click here and you will see public rooms for the games that you have actually added in your emulator. As you can see, I have checked these games I own. You can also refresh list here. Next, if you're not seeing any kind of public rooms, follow these steps. So first, we're going to go to file, go to open hidden folders, click on this root data folder. Now next, make sure to close your Eden emulator. Then we're going to go to config, click on this qt-config.ini and open it up. Next, I'll scroll down. Until you find this web service. And on here, keep an eye on these two lines. Make sure the second line says exactly this. And on the first line, if it says true, change it to false. If it was false before and you are still having this issue, then just change it back to true. Alright, I will save it now. Alright, so after saving this configuration file, make this file a read only file. Now, so I am just going to right click, go to properties, and in here, check this box. Click on apply. Now, if you want to create a private room, you can also do it from here multiplayer create room and you can create a room here but before that make sure you actually have an account on eden for that you go to emulation go to configure and make sure you have filled this up properly so you have a username and a token you can just click on generate and generate a random token then you go to multiplayer go to create room i actually have filled all of these fields Click on this public option and click on host room. Alright, as you can see, I have created my own private room. Alright, so now next join a public room right now. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click on this Pokemon ZA room. And as you can see, I have joined up a public room. Alright, so let's start up the game now.
All right, so I'm in the game now and I'll go to link play, go to link trade. I'll find a nearby player. It will ask me to enter a link code, so I'll put a code. And let's now find a player. Alright, it says a third partner has been found. Okay. Alright, so let's start the trading now. And there we go. The trade had been started. And as I got a Haunter, now it's evolving to Gengar. And there it is. Alright, so now let's start up a private battle. So I'm gonna go to Link Play, Private Battles, Nearby Players, and I'm gonna join a room. You can also create a room if you want. So I'm gonna join this room. And it says room has been found. Alright, so the battle is starting now. So that is how you can do it online in Pokemon Legends ZA using the Eden emulator. So if you have come this far, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.